Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. So you probably already know that here at the Guitar Max channel, I really like affordable guitars. And with that in mind, an article that came out recently about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction really caught my eye because it said that a performer at the induction ceremony was using a guitar that only cost $99. So when we talk about the guitars that pros use or a pro level instrument and that kind of thing, I think this article uh, sets a really good example in that pros, professionals, they just use whatever gets the job done. That's what a pro level instrument is. So anyway, the article here is on guitar.com and we're going to go through this together. But real quick guys, as I've said in a couple of previous videos, this video has a sponsor and the sponsor is my hopefully upcoming Shred Guitar Instrumental Album Kickstarter campaign. Okay guys, so I'm just going to tell you about this briefly and then we'll get on to the article. But right now, and just for a few more days, I have a Kickstarter campaign going on for my upcoming Shred Instrumental Album Titanium Rain. And here's the thing, I have not quite reached the successful funding level yet, so I'm still looking for more backers, more supporters of the album. I've got some really great different tiers on there if you want to get like a guitar lesson from me or a, you know, like a video hangout or something. Or the thing I would really love is just go on there and sign up at the $20 level, which basically pre-buys you. It's basically like a pre-sale for the album. So you get the physical CD, you get two autographed 4x6 cards and some guitar picks, all for 20 bucks. And the big thing here is if I don't reach that minimum goal level, then none of it gets funded. So I really would love you guys to go over and check it out. I will have a link for that down in the video description below. Okay, now let's go ahead and get on with this article here. It's really fascinating. Like I said, somebody actually used a basically $100 guitar during a live performance at the recent Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. Okay, let's look at the article. And again, there's going to be a link for the original article down in the video description below, but it starts off here. The guitar Dolly Parton played at Rock Hall 2022 costs just $99. Now the subtitle, The Bejeweled Guitar, caught the eyes of many and it's an absolute bargain. Uh, and there is the lady herself right there. Now, I, before we go on here, I, I have to be honest with you guys. I'm not super familiar with Dolly Parton's career. I mean, obviously, she's had a very long and successful career, uh, but... I'm not that familiar with her music, but let's read on here. Country star Dolly Parton took to the stage at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 2022 induction ceremony on the 5th of November, and the guitar she wielded cost just $99. I love it. The ceremony showcased a range of highlights from Lionel Richie rocking out with Dave Grohl to K.K. Downing rejoining Judas Priest on stage along with his Gibson Flying V, but another highlight was Parton debuting the new track, Rockin', on a dazzling guitar. The guitar in question was a Mitchell MM100, a mini scale, that's 22 and a half inches scale length, six string that has a basswood body and a bolt-on rock maple neck with two humbucker ceramic Mitchell pickups, also, you know, a couple of generic uh, humbuckers. It has a string through body design, 24 frets, a reverse headstock and controls for master volume tone, and a three-way switch. Check out the video below to see the model in action. Well, uh, like I said, I'll have a link for this down in the video description below if you want to check that out for yourself. Uh, but the article goes on here. Parton has previously revealed Rockin' was written especially for the ceremony and was originally born from the country legend's hesitation and initial refusal to accept a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. She attempted to remove herself from the slate, saying, quote, I don't feel that I have earned that right, unquote. But the Rock Hall Foundation issued a statement in response which read, It is not defined by any one genre, or rather a sound that moves youth culture. Dolly Parton's music impacted a generation of young fans and influenced countless artists that followed. Despite the many highlights of the event, Alanis Morissette uh, was due to, uh, whatever, we don't care about that. Anyway, this is fascinating to me. Now, obviously, it looks like the guitar that she was using has been customized, you know, with this, you know, bejeweled or whatever you want to call it. But let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, at this guitar. Let's look this up. 
So first of all, if we just do a quick Google search here, the Mitchell MM100 Mini, it's on sale for $89.99, so not even 100 bucks. I mean, I guess 100 bucks is probably the typical street price for it. Now, I have reviewed uh, a Mitchell guitar in the past, not this particular one, but one of the, the slightly more mid-range type models, and it was a great guitar for the money, so hopefully this model is as good as that one was. But let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this guitar. So this is over on the Guitar Center website. And let's get a, uh, a full body shot of this, as I like to say. There is the guitar. And yeah, now that doesn't really look like a reverse headstock to me, like they said in the article, but we can forgive them for that. But yeah, 24 frets, two humbuckers, three-way uh, blade type switch, string through body, design a uh, pretty long upper horn there, which makes the guitar balance very well. And also this is a shorter scale instrument, uh, 22 and a half inches. Um, so this is honestly, you know, I'm, this is not a, a slam against Dolly Parton or something, but this is uh, typically an instrument that, that you would give to a young person or somebody who's very small, has very small hands. That's what, you know, short scale instruments are typically used for. So this might be somebody's first guitar or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty straightforward 24 fret budget rock machine. And uh, look at this, at least over on guitar, uh, on the Guitar Center website, four out of five with 64 reviews. So it seems like people really like this guitar, especially for the prices. So I got to ask, does anybody out there own one of these guitars? And if you do, what do you think of it? Uh, second to that would be, do you, does anybody out there own a Mitchell guitar? So it doesn't have to be this one. And what do you think of that one? Uh, I've played quite a few of them, and some of them are, are really pretty nice. It's one of those companies where they don't necessarily make any super high-end guitars. I think the Mitchell range for the electric guitars tops out around five or six hundred dollars or something like that. But from what I can tell, they are well-made guitars and also very consistent in the manufacturing. Oh, and look at this, even on a hundred dollar guitar, it says right here, paraffin dipped ceramic pickup. So they've, you know, wax potting these pickups, which is really good. And that is something that I would consider to be a sort of pro level feature, right? Because when you're playing on stage, uh, sometimes the stage volumes, you know, the, the, how loud it is on stage can be very, very loud. And if you don't have wax potted pickups, or for some other reason the pickups are prone to feedback, that's really a big problem. And it's something that would not be considered pro level because you can't really use it on a stage. But something like this, you could. And honestly, as a medium sized YouTuber, I really just have to say here definitively pro level is really just a marketing term. Uh, I mean, like I said, when professionals, people who make a living on a regular basis, playing music, professional musicians, they are going to use whatever gets the job done, whatever is best for the situation or best for the gig or best for the recording, whatever it is that they're working on, whatever's going to get the job done and do it the best, that's what is professional level, whatever that ends up being. Now, you could make the argument that there are particular features which do get used by professionals on a consistent basis. And so, you know, because of that, you could probably call them pro level features. But again, I mean, you know, there have been guys who use, I mean, Slash is such a great example, right? His, the, the Appetite for Destruction Les Paul, right? It was a knockoff. It, it wasn't even a real Les Paul. And now there's, you know, a, a Les Paul signature guitar based off of the copy, which is incredible. Anyway, guys, enough about that. But yeah, back to the original idea here. This is just fascinating and honestly I think this is really cool. I don't know if Dolly Parton realized how much the guitar cost. I mean maybe somebody in her her team of people or somebody in her band or something came up with this guitar. I, I don't think she went out and personally bought a $100 guitar and then put the sequins on it and stuff. I mean I could be wrong but I kind of doubt that. But this is just really really cool. Uh, you know that somebody would go out and, and do a show, it's, it's a big sh there's a big audience there, and of course it's televised and people are watching it later on. Big production, and uh, yeah, a $100 guitar. That's pretty cool. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm gonna have a link for the original article down in the video description below. 
I will even put a link down there for this guitar if you want to pick one up. And also, guys, please check out my Kickstarter campaign going on right now just for a few more days. There will be a link for that down in the video description as well. Thanks a ton for watching, guys. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.